you also get this nice like little overlaid web view when you start building. That I closed that earlier so you didn't see it. But as you make changes, you can actually see how the app um, changes visually from within agent and within assistant, which is really nice. Hey, what's up? It's Matt. Today I have a first look at the brand new Replit mobile app, and we've redesigned the app from the ground up to make it as easy as possible to build while on the go. Um, and we've really done that by making our AI products front and center, so agent and assistant, meaning uh, that you kind of have a tool at your fingertips that's going to allow you to build even when you don't have direct access to code or a computer. Um, the cool thing about the Replit mobile app is that you can do anything in the app you can do on replit.com, but we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about the app, and I'm going to give you an overview of why it's important and what it means for builders like yourselves. So if you're unfamiliar with replit.com, we've had a ton of new users recently. It's a browser-based tool for building applications, and we do that at, under the hood by writing code. You can always go to replit.com and write code, uh, but we've made that easier with our AI tools, Agent and Assistant. Agent can configure your entire development environment. It can set up projects for you. Assistant can help you make changes to those projects. Now, what we've done is take all of that, all of that magic, right, ball up, put it in your phone. So now you have a coding tool that runs entirely on your phone and lives in your pocket. And the amazing thing here is that you can create projects on replit.com you can continue editing them on your phone. You can create them on your phone. You can continue editing them on replit.com. Um, and this allows for some really unique workflows. It means you can do things like have a project you're working on on the side, and then you have to go to a meeting and you're sitting in like, I don't know, like a Waymo or a Lyft for those of us who aren't, you know, up to the latest tech um, and continue editing that app in the back of a lift. Continue revising a deployment. You can redeploy your apps. You can change secrets, add databases, do anything that you can do online. So I'm going to give you a walkthrough of the app. We're going to talk about some of the cool app specific functionality, for example, notifications uh, that we've built. At the end of this video, my hope is that you'll have the template that I built that you can continue to edit and build with Agent, as well as an idea of how the mobile app can maybe fit into your workflow or make your life easier. So so I have a REPL here that I created this morning. Uh, we're going to go back to the homepage. We'll take a step back and talk about what you'll see when you first open the application um, and then work backwards from there. So the first thing you'll see is this create page. This might look familiar. It's pretty similar to our homepage. Um, and bear with us if the design changes slightly. Uh, but you can do anything here you can do on replit.com, which means you can describe an application. You can attach photos. You can attach uh, screenshots of a site that you want to clone or even attach URLs and scrape the contents of websites for context, basically, for agent, which is what I'll show you in the app that I created. A cool thing is that, you know, it can be hard to type on phones. I do not have, like, fast thumbs. Um, so you can also use voice input. You can say something like, uh, help me create a to-do list application that's responsive, mobile-friendly, and has beautiful design. That's pretty cool, right? Uh, <laughs> it's going to keep transcribing, so I'll stop that. Um, so you can imagine, right, a faster way of input, right, just chatting with your phone to build these apps to add features. Uh, on the homepage, the, some other things, you can manage all the REPLs that you've built, all the apps that you've built, rather. Uh, we're calling them apps now. Uh, and uh, you can also manage your account. Um, if you're a Replit Teams subscriber, if you are a part of a business that purchases Replit Teams, you can uh, view and access your teams as well. Um, but what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about an app that I already built. I'm going to walk you through the flow, exactly what I did. Um, I used my voice building this application um, and agent and assistant and all the tools that we always talk about. Um, but we'll talk about why that's different and uh, how you can get started. So what is this application? So basically, it's a game called Mastermind. Um, Mastermind is like OG Wordle. So if you played Wordle before, um, it's like a guessing game. You have 10 attempts to sort of guess some colors. Um, and here we can see, right, uh, the way it's laid out. So I have 10 attempts. I could say like red, blue, orange, purple. We'll submit my guess. And I get two yellow icons, which means that... Um, Two of these colors are correct. They're on the board, but they're not in the right position. Uh, so I could do like blue, yellow, uh, purple, green. Submit my guess. Okay, now I have two green dots, which means that um, two of the colors are correct and in the right position, and one of the colors is correct but in the wrong position. Um, I'm not going to play this live because it's actually really embarrassing how bad I am at this game. Uh, but what I do want to illustrate is this is something I built in like 10 or 15 minutes by chatting with AI, by debugging, by just using some logic. Uh, and we're going to go through it. So the first prompt I gave Agent here was I attached the Wikipedia link for the game that describes the rules and how it works because AI might not have context into that. Um, and then I clicked the content button when that pops up to attach it. I said, hey, I'd like to build a mobile-friendly, responsive version of the game. I talked to my phone, so it got the comma wrong there, uh, to be played daily by users on their phones. 
agent built something. Note it used um, React and a library called Chad CN. You don't have to worry about that if you're not technical. And um, the first version actually didn't work. So I let it know. It checked the errors. It checked the logs. You can see it uh, restarted the application, took a screenshot. And at that point, I had a working game um, similar to what you're seeing here, but I wanted to refine it a bit. So I went to Assistant. So Agent can help configure environments, build apps from scratch. It's what you communicate with first when you land in the application. But Assistant's good for more fine-tuned edits. And you can see here, right, uh, I said, okay, like some of the UI elements are hard to see. When we interact with Assistant, it'll tell us the files that it edits, um, as well as give us diffs uh, for the files that it'll change. And so you can click a diff literally to see uh, right, what's being changed in that file. So, you know, if you're building on the go, it might be really hard to write code. If you're technical and you're used to looking at code, um, you might want to see what's changed. So you could uh, request an edit and then based on the diff, apply it or ignore it. Now, if you're non-technical, the great thing is that you don't really even have to look at these diffs to build. But the, <laughs> the caveat here is these are really good for learning how to code. Like if I start to pick this apart, okay, well, like it may change this to the client. So we're changing the front end uh, versus the server, which would be on the back end. And it changed this game.tsx file. And then it also changed this game board.tsx file. So if I wanted to know more about those things, I might dig in, right? Um, then I said, hey, you know, it'd be fun is if we had confetti when we win, right? Like we got to celebrate. Um, so Assistant helped me install the packages that I needed and it made some more changes. Um, you know, I kind of went back and forth with it a few more times to get it to the point that I wanted it to be at. Uh, but the end result is a game that works. Um, and so you can imagine starting a project uh, on rebel.com, hopping in your car to go to a meeting, not driving, of course, someone out your wife is driving you or your, your partner, or hopping in a lift, right? Okay, there, we're good. Someone else is driving the car. Just want to make that clear. No building and driving dangerous. Um, you could imagine hopping in a lift to build something on the way to a meeting, pick up from where you left off on your computer, arrive, and you have something that you can deploy. Of course, this app, um, you can go hit those uh, three screens icon to come up to this tab view, and you can search for the tools that you need. So if you wanted to deploy, right, you could go to the deployments tab. Um, you can deploy from here. This app is already deployed. Uh, but you can do everything that you can do on webload.com. Um, again, if you want to access the tools in the workspace, you can do that through search here. Uh, and if you want to access the files individually, that's available as well. Um, so I can close that and uh, whoops, I exited the app. But the point I'm trying to make here, you also get this nice like little overlaid web view when you start building. That'll, I closed that earlier so you didn't see it. But as you make changes, you can actually see how the app um, changes visually from within agent and within assistant, which is really nice. But the point I'm trying to make is that uh, building isn't just something you have to do at your desk anymore, right? It can be on the go. It can be when you're in the gym or walking to the gym. It can be, um, you know, in between meetings or, uh, you know, when you have a free moment and you just want to see if you can create something. Um, and so our goal here is really to empower the next billion app creators to really enable anyone to build. And if you'll notice, all I did here was talk to my phone and write English. There was no coding, no coding involved, right? I have a background in code, but there's no reason you can't learn all of the concepts that I'm telling you about uh, the same way that I did um, or just get started building and start to learn them as you go, right? And so you can imagine if you have kids, right? Your kids could be playing video games or they can be building games. Uh, I've gotten feedback online that Replit users' kids spend more time creating games than they do playing games. And that's insane to me. Um, I think it's an amazing way to build and an amazing tool to use. Um, but this is more just designed to be an overview here. Uh, and if you want to, right, at any time, you could pick up from this game on replit.com. Uh, so that's been an overview of the Replit mobile app. It's how you can get started building on your phone in literally no time at all. We also recently made Replit free to try. So you can try agent and assistant for free. Everyone gets 10 checkpoints for free. If you're an existing user, we're not, you know, we're giving you 10 checkpoints too. That'll kind of come out of your usage uh, before you start being accruing like billable uh, usage on Replit. So um, again, I'm Matt. This has been how you can get started with the Replit mobile app. I'm really excited to see what y'all build with it. Until next time, peace. Peace.